uh, give to them. So it's like, if I'm a good communicator and I try to be honest with you, I want that as well. Like, don't be out here 30 and lying about, oh, yeah, like, I may want a relationship, I may not. You know, just be honest. So it's like, no, baby, I don't really want a relationship right Every now. Every time I'm I hear these hit. things, I just hear, like, it's really yeah. sad because I know tons of That's fucking perfect. guys that don't do any of this shit. It's who you're around That's... and it's who you fuck with. It's so sad because it's like, I don't know where you are seeing this. I understand if it's on in, on the internet, like Tinder or any dating apps or Instagram. That's all a given. Like you were saying, organic is better. But organically, I don't know how if you're meeting people by community that you should be experiencing these type of things. Right. Shout out I to mean, FNF. Because, because, you because know this is the problem. Don't. Because this is the problem. Like whenever you meet within a community, this is why I preach like the networking events and the charity events. So like that. Because when you meet people with a net, within a network or if you meet people who know each other, then that guy's less likely to screw you over because you met him through this other person and they're going to tell them whenever they do it. So the problem is girls go meet a guy randomly on the internet. Of course he's going to pump and dump uh, you. I like of Derek. Fucking Derek's course. a great guy. Or the guys at the bar, you know, of I, course they're going to do that. Well, he's got I got a lose. There's nothing question. to lose. Yeah, but you don't know a person too. I, I got a follow-up question real quick. For the ladies, um, for the one at the far left, just a minute ago you had mentioned something along the lines of, let me pull up my notes here. So men having their shit together. I got a question for all three of y'all. Can you provide me what qualifies a woman for having her shit together whenever we're talking about uh, a dating market and as well a long term relationship? Can y'all give me an example of what makes a woman oh, okay. have her shit together? I can together? give you two examples because I've I've dealt with two different types of men at least. You have the some you got some men that want you to have everything: the car, the house, everything like independent, full Four blown, okay. independent. Four <laughs> one, okay, cool. And then you also have the men who just just care if you like trying. And they're willing to help. They're they're willing to to protect you and you know provide that security and make sure that you you are well off. So it just depends on what type of man you're dealing with. So independent and yeah, independent mm -hmm. or like you know just um what is it potential? As long as you have potential. Okay. See, cool. sometimes the potential Let gets you in trouble too because they can have potential to be good, but they're not following through with it. Like you yes, have well, potential. actions, of course. Your yeah, actions, actions have to match your words, of course. Okay. So so uh, I got independent and having potential. Next. Please. Uh, what qualifies a woman for having their to shit have together and in, in, in a means of making a great potential for a long term relationship? Um, I mean, to be honest, I think a lot again, a lot of men like to know that like my my spouse, future spouse or my girlfriend I'm going to be taking serious is he has a head on her shoulders, meaning you're smart. You can I can trust you with my vulnerabilities. So someone that's open to <laughs> transparency, like I feel like it's a lot of expectations for a woman to be. The, like in the house you're providing, like the cooking, the cleaning, the making sure everything's straight there, but also being that safe space. So as long as you have at least that, they're willing to take care of the finances. So if you don't have that, then you're not even like an option. Like the first time you disrespect a man in their space, it's like, okay, well, yeah, this is not somebody for me. So in that aspect, I would say being like a safekeeping emotionally and spiritually and also being a safekeeping with making sure my house or my, my, mm, I would say like the, again, the cooking and cleaning and everything else is put together. What, That's a, what's an emotional that, safekeeping? Like, what do you mean by that? Like for a man, if you, I think again, for men, it's like the trust. Women want to feel like I can trust you not to go cheat on me, not to go do anything outside of the household, but to make sure my heart is safe. And men want to feel like they're safe spiritually and emotionally. Like to know, no, I can go outside and be looked at any type of way from like work to like walking down the street and I can't trust the person, the next man walking past me. When I come home, I can trust like my woman got me. My woman got me like emotionally. I can take my cape off. I can take like this mask off that I'm wearing all day. Make sure that I got to make sure everybody else knows I'm good. I'm straight. But when you come home, you can just like relax. You're totally projecting like a woman emotion right now. Like Correct. that has nothing yeah. to do with fucking men at all. Like right. at all. We don't give a shit I said, about okay, that. No, because I can provide an example. Because I just dealt with that from the last two men that I decided to take. Sounds serious. like a feminine ass dude. And that's why he's not with you anymore. No, yeah. because there is a lot of men out here. And I feel like but that may not be you. You may not care about that. And that's 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 how you can be. That's your that's your life. That's you how you want to be. That's fine. But there are a lot of men out here. Uh, let me speak for black men out here that want to feel like they can come home and decompress. Like that's just something they yeah, they true. deal with. That's true. And that's as true. soon as you disrespect that across that threshold, I gotta go find somewhere else to be. 
like I can't be here. I can't. I can't. I can't thrive here. And that's that's their space. Whether it's their man cave, whether it's their. We just want somebody to miss that's not going to argue with us. It's that fucking simple. It is that simple. That's like, all. Okay. Like, that's, that's all. all. Like that's it has nothing to do with the emotions, though. It has nothing. What y'all got to understand is when you say stuff like that, you are projecting how a woman feels. Y'all are emotional creatures. We are logical creatures. That is simple as it is. Now there might be some guys that are super emotional, but I guarantee you that those relationships will never fucking last because an emotional man is a dangerous man it is extremely so, dangerous when a man wrong, is emotional okay okay what's wrong with having to know or being able to know that you can go home and not have to worry about whatever you dealt with throughout the day what's wrong with knowing that do you think that right? men are not built to just handle things do that's you think so, that we we cry okay. over problems at work Who, no one's do saying you, cry over but problems but do you at think work? that we get emotional over problems at work that's that's the point. You don't get emotional over problems at work. So when you come home, you just want to relax. That's the point. It's about you not getting emotional over problems at work. That you need that space to do that. That's no, the that point. that makes no sense. Guys don't get if emotional bottle, at work. That's and that's we the don't. Problem. We we're not going to sit there. And that that, that uh, that's what I'm saying. It's a projection. You're project because this is how women are. You need to understand that a lot of things that y'all think. Y'all project, and this is the biggest issue today, is that women think men are like this or like this. It's so, always so projecting. Can I ask, so can I ask, when, if you don't, if you feel like you don't need to be emotional, like what do you do with your emotions? There's very rare times when a man is emotional and you either go talk to your boys about it yes. or you take care of it yourself. What about because it is, hold on, because it is a scraped knee. Anything that is a problem for a man, if you're not able to solve it, you're fucking fucked up in some way what do you, you do have some with issue your, that's not okay but what you talk to your homeboys about your problems well why not your girl because she Don't can leave you over what, so she why, can totally so leave why, you so over so why do you have to go talk to your homeboys about something when you have a because if a if man has a problem hold on if a man has a problem you think that if i have a, a problem with my job with whatever financial whatever it is if he's the leader of the what house and your, everything hold on hold on stop interrupting if i if he if he has any type of issues with these things that are manly fucking things you think you have the solution for it no, the people who have the solution for those problems are his boys or himself will figure it out. Men are problem solvers. Y'all need to understand something about men. We are problem solvers. The sewers down in the ground, the buildings built, that is fucking men that did that shit. That's not women doing that. We are problem solvers. We like to solve problems, okay? And the thing is, we're very good at it. We don't, we don't cry over scraped knees. We're not supposed to. OK, so like when you try to encourage a man to do stuff like that, you're going to bite yourself in the I never, ass. I, every I, I didn't. Time. I didn't. I, what I said was I've dealt with men in the past and I can I can't speak to any other race. And that's I, and they're in the okay, past okay, and they're well, in the we, past okay, for a reason. I would like to pause. We said don't interrupt. OK, so I would like to say I can't speak to any other race besides the one that I have dealt with. And this comes from 33 year old men, 24 year old men, 40 year old men. What they want to know is that when I come home, if I choose you to be the person I want to share a household with, I don't have to deal with outside factors in my house. This is my space. And the one, t if a man comes to you and says, I had a shitty ass day, the all this shit happened at work, whether he probably doesn't want a solution, he wants someone to listen. That is something that women do men if a man comes home and says man today was such a shitty day because of blah 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 that is the most feminine dude i've ever heard of in my fucking life that is crazy that is what women do every day when my girl gets off work that's what she does that's not what i do what? What i have so never you, done so, that so are you saying that guys should only go sell their homeboys they don't have that, that's the only you should either you handle to. it by yourself like a man and because take care of your issue because it's usually a knee scrape. It's usually some little financial issue. It's usually something that is not worth being a baby over it. it being emotional. It's so, usually not I mean, worth it. I mean, you have some like, things that you can that, like you said, are a knee scrape. You shouldn't have Yeah, if, if his mother dies, of course it's okay for him to come and cry to you. His mother died. Yeah, but we're talking, about, so we're talking about we're talking about work. Like, we're talking about getting off of work and stressful days and stuff. Then, no, never, never. You if, you're a guy, if a guy is crying over scraped knees, that is fucking bad. I don't, okay, I don't it's consider crying, crying emotional I was just emotional say, okay I was gonna say, but I even just emotional that. just emotional is a problem i'm telling you an emotional man is a dangerous man 